everybody in today's session we are going to see about the applications of multimedia okay so this is very important uh, and uh, it might come in two marks three marks or five marks also okay children so first sector where we will be applying multimedia is education okay as we all know in education multimedia plays a very important role nowadays you get cds online classes for all the topics for all the subjects okay so in education this multimedia plays a very important role uh, in explaining the concepts to the children in a very elaborative way in a very animated okay all the chemical reactions or all the diagrams can be animated and can be explained to the students uh, in a better way using multimedia so that is how uh, multimedia plays an important role in education next comes the entertainment entertainment that is in movies and uh, uh, ads everything this multimedia is being used okay to create better effects uh, for example a movie called a recent movie called bahubali in bahubali this multimedia is being used extensively to make the uh, movie better okay that is why it is so famous and so popular okay so in entertainment industry also multimedia plays a very important role and next comes the business systems even in businesses this multimedia plays a very important role suppose if a company wants to give a presentation to its customers they uh, they'll have a ppt powerpoint presentation which is nothing but a multimedia again okay so they can prepare ads using this multimedia and uh, suppose if they want to give some information to their uh, branch officers or to the head offices that can be easily done using this multimedia uh, and phones okay so next comes the medical services even in medical services this multimedia plays a very important role you might wonder how okay nowadays uh, robots perform surgeries okay that is also multimedia and uh, there are some training courses wherein given uh, which is given to the trainee doctors uh, to demonstrate how a surgery is done okay so they are the beginners they also uh, patients cannot be given to them directly so what they'll do is they'll have a simulated animated software which will teach them the surgery and all the intricate details anatomy of a human body all these things okay so even in medical services this multimedia plays a very important role the next comes the public places even in public places like uh, hotels banks cinema malls everywhere you can see multimedia computers okay so wherever you go there is multimedia nowadays okay so there is no place in this world where this you are, there is no multimedia okay so multimedia is so important that is why you have been taught multimedia in the class 12 and class 11 okay children and that is about the applications of multimedia next we are going to see about the other related topics in multimedia okay so i'll be explaining one by one the first one is multimedia kiosk the first one is multimedia kiosk okay multimedia kiosk is nothing but the mm, computers that you see in atms or in cinema malls or in banks okay wherein you can just press a button and uh, you'll get whatever information you want you can print the passbook you can get the tickets for cinemas you can get the money from atms no without any help from the uh, bank people or anybody else okay so that is called this bank multimedia kiosk you can find this multimedia kiosk even in railway stations airports everywhere okay this is a small uh, computer screen wherein you will touch and you will get the information no so that system is called as multimedia kiosk okay and the second topic we are going to see is webcasting and video conferencing webcasting and video conferencing okay Webcasting is nothing but uh, a live telecast of a program through internet. Okay, or through satellites is called this webcasting. Okay, you have some live shows, no, uh, that singing programs or anything, any live telecast. 
okay that is called as webcasting now you all know what is video conferencing video conferencing is nothing but calling people and uh, talking to them by seeing their faces through phones or through computers is called as video conferencing this video conferencing can be used even for business calls business meetings all those things okay uh, nowadays in the time of lockdown this video conferencing is very important and plays a very crucial uh, role okay in conducting businesses so there's a small difference between webcasting and video conferencing webcasting is live telecasting of some programs okay whereas video conferencing is calling through phones or uh, computers and talking with the connected people that is video conferencing the second one or the third one is digital libraries digital libraries nowadays okay uh, in olden days when we need to get any information we need to go to the libraries we have to search for the books and then we have it's a very long process and it is takes time okay it needs more patience also but nowadays all the books are available on the internet and you can search for it and even that books will give you some sound effects some all those multimedia effects okay so that this so multimedia is also used in digital libraries and apart from that you also have something called as the user orientation program user orientation program user orientation program that is nothing but whenever a new employee joins a company okay he will not know what's the process and he needs to be given training no that training can be given using multimedia okay as i said uh, that uh, training doctors will be given uh, training using multimedia how to perform surgery no so the same thing is user orientation program for any kind of employee who joins a company newly okay he needs to know the process no that process can be taught using this user orientation programming and the last is not but not the least is e publishing e publishing nowadays all the book companies are producing the books or printing the books in the form of cds okay and that series will have all the multimedia sound effects and all animations so that the customers or the readers will have more interest in reading the content of the book but in book we have to just imagine okay what will be the kind of uh, environment and the sound and all but in e publishing okay uh, the books will be published in the internet or through cds okay which will have some sound effects and all the animated effects also so that the user will get more interest in reading the books okay so this is all about the related topics in multimedia and web publishing desktop publishing okay so with this we come to the end of the first chapter the first chapter in computer application subject that is multimedia and desktop publishing is over my dear children thank you